and then this is the other big box that came today. I well, let's see if we can open it up here. <clears throat> and then we got a box, some packaging, and that's what it was. We got a batch of Craftsman. C3, these are the C3 19.2 volt lithium batteries. Let's see, so there's think, supposed to be. So we got, oh, and this is one of the larger ones here, so you can see the difference. This is the what's called the compact lithium, and then this is the extended capacity lithium. Let's see if any of these, yeah, they're all red. There you can see. In fact, that one is beyond red. What this was. We have get them around this way. Three compact and one extended capacity battery. Let's see. That one's a red. That one's nothing. So it's probably that one's down. And that one's red. Oh, yeah, they also light up on the side, too. I didn't see that before. You can see the, the charge. Why I got these was I've got a, I've got one, uh, two of the compact batteries and then two NICADs. And I was kind of interested. These are, were sold as uh, for parts or non-working. I think I paid about uh, $40 for the set, a little under 40 I think, so, I, but I wanted to kind of, I didn't want to tear apart my good batteries because they actually work, but I wanted to, uh, I figured get some of these, these I'm pretty sure use 18650 cells, I think there's, there's five, uh, 18650 cells in here. I'm guessing the uh, extended capacity probably uses uh, 5 and 5, so 10 cells with 2 in parallel, 5 groups of 2. But what I wanted to see is I, I kind of am interested in what this battery protection, I, I kind of like this. They have, like I say, they uh, I'll have another video where I show how these work, uh, but basically they have this fuel gauge and they also have the battery protection circuit that shuts down. In fact, these two are probably, they're either shut down because when you discharge it far enough to disconnect, the fuel gauge doesn't come on anymore. And so I, I just wanted to kind of tear one apart and I was really looking to get one of these uh, extended capacity ones. They're they're quite expensive. I think there are sixty five, seventy dollars for uh, the extended capacity. So if I can get this one working, I've got that uh, extended capacity. And so I'll do a, a tear down video on these uh, when I get a little chance. I think these, uh, if we can see there, I. Th I think these use the security torque, so actually I have a set of security torques bits uh, on order, so I won't be able to take these apart until those show up. Looks like these are the same. You can see the security torques have the little uh, bump in the, in the center, so you need a, a bit with a uh, hole in the middle. So I'll take a look at these. When I uh, I might just try charging, putting these in my chargers and see if they actually take a charge. So that's today's post bag. So we got a little circuit breaker there, actually a pretty big circuit breaker, and four lithium batteries that may or may not work. Okay, hello YouTube, back here. I just want to do a quick test. I've got the uh, my solar charger plugged in here. This is the 
off the solar battery bank and I'll try uh, one of these. Oh, there we go. So that's in the charging mode. As you can see down there, okay. Just as a quick check. Here's the second one, second compact. I'll plug it in. We've got evaluating blinking. And it looks like that one's taking a charge. And then here's the third compact one. Let's see, is this one the. Yeah, this one lights up. So we'll plug that one in. And it looks like that one, at least the charger is recognizing it. Okay, and let's do, this is the extended capacity, the tall battery pack. See if the camera picks up that red, I don't know if it uh, shows up there, but let's see. We have the extended capacity, and it looks like that's taking a charge. And what I'll do, just to show you, let's see, I'll unplug that, and I'll See if I can get my. Uh, you can see that I get the charge controller up there with the. This is showing the DC load current right now, four amps. And so when I plug in the charger, and there we go, it jumps up to nine and a half amps. So the, the battery charger is taking about five and a half amps of. Uh, current at 12.9 volts. So I think I'll let these run all four of these batteries through a charge and just see see if they all because uh, sometimes the charger will charge for a while and so we'll see what happens. I'll just keep those plugged in and so I'll let that run for a while and we'll see what happens. So anyway, that's today's uh, post bag. Uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you like them, uh, rate and share. And also subscribe to this channel if you want to get some updates. And thanks for watching. I'll update you uh, when I have some results from these batteries.